So for about six months, I've been taking commissions on the down low because I had college in the way, but now that I'm on break, I think it's safe to say that I'm ready to take more again. If you want any details, you can check the sheet up on the screen, or if you'd rather have a closer look, check the first link in my description. I've updated prices and terms, so if you were looking into commissioning me before, it's best to give this a look again to make sure that you're okay with it still. So to further explain some of the tiers, um, 8-Bit Demix is a remix in the style of an old classic Nintendo game. Check soundtracks like the first three Super Mario, Zelda 1, Metroid 1, you know, all that. It's pretty much the same as those. Soundflot demixes or remixes done with instruments of the 16-bit era, such as like the SNES, Sega Genesis music, and even Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS. There isn't really much of a limit like the 8-bit demix, since the 8-bit demix is like three-channel audio and uh, sound fonts are probably like more like five or six, but I don't really want to put a restriction on it. Standard covers are pretty much what you usually see on this channel. So pretty much you let me know what song you want me to cover, what genre or style you'd like it to be, and we'll try to work something out. While I am pretty versatile with genres and the electronic side of things, I can also do other genres, you know, like jazz, orchestral, you name it and I wouldn't mind trying new ones that I haven't done before. Original music is pretty self-explanatory. If you want a theme song for your channel, character, or just have one just because, then this is the tier that you'd want. Songs in this tier are usually at least 2.5 minutes long and sometimes longer. The price does get affected by length, by the way, so if you're looking for something shorter, it obviously will be cheaper. And if you wanted something longer, then you'll have- we'll talk about a price for that as well. So when it comes to contact information, I cannot stress this enough, please do not message me on YouTube. Message me through Twitter DMs, or Discord DMs, or email, because those are much more reliable and I actually get notifications on my phone with those. I will most likely respond very quickly with those. And with YouTube Inbox, I've had messages that I haven't responded to in months because it just never notifies me. So I pretty much just say, don't, don't message me there, please. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's pretty much everything. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me either in the comments or in private messages, either works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening and I'll see you in the next video.